I'm so excited for Altitia. I've been trying to go there for years. Yep, already got my fancy clothes on to meet our actress and everything. You're doing it wrong, Noct. If you're meeting a lady, you gotta wear less clothes, like me. That's not how- I'll have to try that with Aranea. Yes, Aranea. You're sure she delivered the boat? Yep, said she got it all loaded up for you. Why me in particular? You're the one driving, right? You're the driver. I'm not even driving now. So what are you saying? I can't drive a boat. Huh? Oh, God damn it, Iggy! Sorry, must have been sick the day they taught us that in Programming 101. So now what? Guess we gotta find a captain. Oh, <sighs> great. Hey, Not. Oh, hey, Cor. Do you know how to drive a boat? We need to get to Altisha. Oh, I know how. Oh, great! So I then also you'll... know how to not abandon my friends. So there I was in the tempering grounds. Oh, God. I waited for days to make sure Gladio defeated Gilgamesh. But he never called me. He never let me know. I thought he was dead. Oh, uh, sorry? Shut up, Cor. No bad mouths in my Sylvester map, boys, if you know what's good for you. Oh, so you love the present? Damn right I did. Nah, ha, 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 ice. And I'll love it even more once you boys go to Ravito and find a prize for me. No. What? No. That's what my boy Dave says the map will lead to. Fucking Dave. Says you gotta fight one of them zoo birds or something. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna go fight a monster for you. Well, the way I see it, you can either go up there and fight a bird, or learn how to drive the boat your damn self. Ugh. Fine, we'll fight the zoo. I knew you'd come up with a great idea. <laughs> and this is your room. You gotta rest up for the boat ride tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I can follow the plot. I can go with you guys, right? Yeah, 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 whatever. I can't wait to get there. Altasia looks so beautiful. We're not actually fighting the zoo no, for no, Sid, yeah, by the way. I figured as much. Hey, not come look at this. You are so funny, Gladdy. Uh, okay. Come on, yeah, knock, knock. Think. You know I'm the chef, right? Really? Right, so That's it. Cool. Time for that Shokugeki. Look at all this lame stuff this kid has. It's not lame. It belongs to Jared. Did you see that? Jared can't. Cause he's dead. <laughs> Ooh, good one. We lied, motherfuckers! Not this, she won't stop talking! See ya never again! Not this, come back! Don't leave me with it! Not this! Thanks for putting on a shirt, Gladio. We're losing tons of followers now. Your nipples almost made me lose my sight. Ah, <laughs> yeah, they do that. Man, this boat is totally what's poppin'. What's Altisha like, anyway? Beats me. Never been. Nor have I. Trying to get there for ten episodes. Knocked. Go and ask Sid what we're to expect upon arrival. Alright. Hey, Sid. You've been to Altisha before, right? What's it like? It's a hoity-toity place, full of stuck-up snobs. Oh, yeah? Everybody there are voice actors, which means they're the richest of the rich, so they think they're better than everyone else. All because they're the only recording studio, so every company's got to use them. Oh yeah, Korn mentioned something about that. Anyway, y'all gonna go get my prize after we get your actress friend, right? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> yup. Y'all better. So what did he say? Bunch of rich voice actors. Can't wait. Sounds like no more terrible deep voices for us. Thank God. Just All I'm asking is just for five minutes, guys. Please. No fishing. But... All right, boys, here we are. Come take a gander. All right. About time. Fuck. Finally enlist all of them. Jumping into action. Feast your eyes on the capital of Accordo. The number one audio studio in the world. Marvelous. All right, this oh, place wow. is This place is the tits. I can't wait to explore this place and go fishing. Outsiders are limited to the areas around the docks. What the fuck? Sounds like a safe bet to me. You guys are a hot spot for trouble. We'll be on our best behavior. What the hell did you do to my city? I can explain. We destroyed it. It all started when we got here yesterday. 
Prompto wanted food, but Ignis wouldn't let Gladio cook. Dude, don't be a bitch, Gladio said. Well, stop trying to take my job, Ignis replied. Then Gladio said, I don't need the whole back and forth. Just get to the point. Well, all right. Sid said that his friend Wescom owns some bar and that we can go get food there. You might know where your actress friend is, too. Good to know. So are we getting food? Yeah, buddy. We totes are. Cool, nice. Yeah. I could make food if you really wanted me to. Shut up, Iggy. So we get to the bar and meet Wescom. Bomba clot will I be if it ain't Regis's kid. You know, me and your old man used to travel back in the day. Me, Sid, Regis, boy, we really... Yeah, 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 yeah. We're just here because we got some car to meet some actress. Oh, yeah, man. Miss Knox Florey has been waiting for you guys for a month. Knox Florey? Oh, shit. Raven's sister. Yeah, man, she's the actress who called up Regis. She said she knew you guys and her brother Ravis came and told me that you'd be coming to the city today. And that's when you showed up. Who the fuck is this lady? My name is Camelia Claustra, the president of Alticia Recording. So you're in charge of all the actors here. Did you guys ever get my application? Miss Fleuray has been expecting you and has asked me to inform you that she'll be able to meet with you all tomorrow afternoon. She's giving a press conference to advertise her new line of wedding dresses. But after she's done, she'll be free. That's all I've come to tell you. Don't destroy my city while you're here. Oh, so you do remember me saying that. Shut up and let me finish. So the next day came and I was super excited to meet my childhood friend after so many years. Are you super excited to meet your childhood friend after so many years, Not You bet your sweet bippy I am. Cool, so... Oh man, gotta look good, gotta make sure my hair looks good for my good friend Stella Knox Florey. But you know what happened? Who the fuck is that? It wasn't my friend Stella. It was some random bitch named Luna Freya. What the, who the hell? She's the actress you hired. Ravis's sister? No, his sister's name is Stella, not Luna. I don't think this Stella person really exists. Oh, she does. We met a couple years ago at a company event that my dad was hosting. And you are? I'm Stella. Stella, get ready for this dick. Suffice it to say, I was slightly furious. But I figured we needed a voice actor regardless, so it didn't matter who it was. Thank you all for coming. I am Luna Freya Knox Fleuray, the creative director of all Altitian fashion. In the past, we've worked with major companies such as Prada, Louis Vuitton, and more recently for Squaresoft Rowan. But now today, we're displaying our first piece for our upcoming Vivian Westwood line. You may see it if you go to Via Fajeno, and it is very important to me. It was made for my sister Stella. Before her tragic hit and run and insomnia a few years ago, I was on the phone with her when it happened, and all I could hear was the sound of tires screeching and her body hitting the ground, along with the voice of a young man saying, You dented my dad's car. We never found out who it was. Oh yeah. Me and my brother never got over her death. And to this day, we've sworn revenge. Because we know who truly was behind the murder. With that said, let me segue into my second announcement. Long ago, the chairman of Square handpicked two people. One whose family would make video games, and one whose family would relay the worker's will to the board. Only their voices could reach the board, and they decided to use their divine vocal cords to become voice actors, known as oracles, and their family created Altitia as neutral ground. But then, Enix showed up, and they wanted to become the best. And so they tracked down and killed the current oracle. They killed my sister Stella. But jokes on them because they must stop. I'm the true oracle, and now I will use my divine voice to summon Leviathan and destroy- Hey, buddy. Now, Stella, Leviathan. you guys married? Like yeah, so I may have killed her a couple years ago, but- Knocked. Enix is here. Don't worry, Luna's summoning Leviathan. Who? Oh, she's the head of security. 
you know, at school. No, I mean who's... But she wasn't the head of security. It is time to overthrow Enix. But you were the head of security before. This means they basically demoted you. I need you to give Noctis your mark. Regis knew that he was going to be betrayed by Enix, and so he entrusted me with his child's success. I won't let the writing of Kingdom Hearts games get in the way of that. Are they? See for yourself how convoluted Kingdom Hearts is. Make her stop! She's ruining all future games! No! Stop ruining everything! No! That is why I, Blade McLady Killer. Why do they call you that? Well, it is a funny story. <coughs> oh, our voice actress. <laughs> you really shouldn't have announced your entire plan on TV. <coughs> I would have had no idea that you were the Oracle, and you wouldn't have had to die. I know who you are. You fit Ravis's descriptions perfectly. He told you of my good looks, did he? No. But he told me of an asshat with terrible fashion sense and a limp. I will not have it! I will not have it all! Come back! I wasn't done healing your fashion sense. You desperately need a change of clothes. Yes, well, as I go change my clothes, let me remind you that the Oracle's the only one who can talk to their board. So without you, that boy who could not even keep his own fire last will never be able to get to that I have no choice. I have to converge the battle data from all the royal arms into Noctis. Only then can he win. System boost. USB flash drive. Stop. Ruining. Kingdom. Hearts. You motherfucker.
I don't want it anymore! Not this. Take it. Shut up, not Stella! She's ruined Kingdom Hearts for me! I won't stand for it anymore! You're not standing for me! Shut up, I said! Quick, press circle! Follow the prompt, press circle! Reverse the data stream that Titan used to connect to you before. Then my voice can reach him. Yeah, so it kind of only got worse from there. I couldn't help but notice that you were looking at the light from downstairs. Great. How long have you been a stalker? Since I was a child. Yeah, I'm calling security. 